those of you know, because you've seen on your social media that Will Smith and Martin Lawrence mm -hmm. are, have been promoting the market. And depending on when you're watching this, it might be out already. Yeah. But at the time of this recording, Bad Boys, what is it, 19? Four. Four. Oh, my four. <laughs> Bad Boys. Oh, that was a four. joke. I get it. Oh. Four. And I'm, I'm just joking because I really do like the Bad Boys series. So whenever we see like these press runs, it's so obvious now. So when we were younger, when I was younger, let me speak for myself. Yeah. When you would see a celebrity promote their movie or red carpets and do press runs and all that kind of stuff, like you kind of just thought it was par for the course. You didn't really realize. It didn't feel as obvious like, oh, he is trying to sell me something. So now, and just being older, having yeah. social media, seeing how different people operate, whenever I see Will Smith in, on, on a press tour, when I see him sit down with The Breakfast Club, when I see him sit down at Sirius, right, at, right. Uh, for the, um, the last Bad Boys, I know they went to Sirius and they spoke to Sway. Yeah. So whenever I see major A-list Hollywood actors do these type of press runs, it always kind of reinforces just their star power. Right. So for me, to see Martin doing this, it just shows me the level of star power that we all know that Will Smith has. Because Will Smith is the one like, I am going to move these units. We are doing this movie. movie. Star, I am a like, movie star. We're going to do it the right star. way. This is what we do. And I love the fact that Martin, one, is willing to do it. He's back outside. Back outside, <laughs> like for Martin standards. And two, that Will Smith is in the right space or whatever, in the right position to be able to say, you know what? This guy is a legend. Because when their careers, let me not say when they first started, but earlier, Bad Boys 1. If we go back to Bad Boys 1, Martin was a star. Mm -hmm. yeah. Martin was the catalyst. Martin was the draw. Right? Wait, was he? I'm he was. Was it a combination of both it, of them? Because so, Will Smith has been that guy some, since the 90s. He has some movies out. Will, Will Smith has said this. I'm not, I'm not, oh. I'm, I'm not trying no, I'm to learning. I'm learning. dull Will Smith shine oh, by yeah. saying that. I'm learning, yeah. But at that point, I, I want to say it was 1994, okay. right? Okay. This is every single Monday, Martin is coming on national TV yeah. with Fire. the biggest sitcom Ever. in America. Ever. You get what I'm saying? Martin is Martin. Period. Like, Will Smith is still trying to figure it out. He's the quirky rapper, straight edge. Like, and he's doing his thing. He has a career. There's yeah. no knock to him. But Martin was of the, the caliber actor. of, yeah. like, he was on the Kevin Hart. He was the Kevin Hart of the early 90s. So mm -hmm. there's a yeah, clip man. that I actually want to play from Will Smith. Uh, he was featured on Hot 97. We'll get to Hot 97 later because I think whatever's going on over there is interesting too. But uh, let's hear from Will Smith's mouth. How about that? Any intimidation about, like, how good the other one was when y'all first got together? I was always jealous of Martin, right? So, like, Fresh Prince was NBC, you mm -hmm. know? So it was, like, you know, Monday night at 8, so we had all of the press and everything. And, very pristine. Very so, pristine, you right. know? But Martin was the people's champ. Yep. Right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what Bad Boys, part of what makes Bad Boys distinct that that is a, a unique Martin gift is to be able to do super broad comedy big giant broad comedy in the middle of a scene that's that's life or death and not compromise like mm. that kind of range mm. there's very very few comedians who have ever lived that can do that level of comedy without breaking the drama what were your impressions of will and his comedic chops from fresh prince of bel-air i loved it i loved it you know will, will's uh energy was always up and 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 he was funny and uh him and jazzy jeff and always throwing jazzy jeff out the house <laughs> and and the just dance. even the admiration that these two guys have for each other 30 years later yeah That's you lot. get what i'm saying yeah. like it, it, it i just wanted to give them flowers and absolutely oh and can i mention something sorry for sure, absolutely for, for shout out to vibe for, from that same interview that my co-worker did with them he said this time around they've done um four of these together by now and then they're a little older now so they said like will smith said one of the most beautiful moments like when they started you know how it's an action film so he's like yeah. on go 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 but then yeah. martin like looked at him in the beginning and was like we're gonna slow it down this time like we're gonna enjoy it mm. like we're gonna <laughs> really take our time this time like let's enjoy this bro and like mm -hmm. he was like Oh my! He he like got emotional. He was like, "Oh my god! Like we're really gonna we're really doing this." And I was just like, "Oh my god!" Oh, it's really happening. I it's, love this franchise so much. It's a beautiful thing to see <laughs> yeah. because the contrast it almost resembles how we kind of work on this podcast, in my opinion, right? Like 
It's okay. You can balance. leave me out. You can leave me out for this. You can do <laughs> no, you and Alex. No, I'm, I'm, it's all of us. <laughs> no, no, no. Because he's like the outgoing one, and then you're kind of like the you know. No. But even from the way the intensity that Will Smith brings into that kind of wholesomeness or or um stop the smell the roses, just being Shared. intentional in yeah. the moment of mm-hmm. Martin to be like, hey, guy, like, bro, we are a little bit older, we're established, like, like let's, let's enjoy. Uh, you know, there's yeah. a balance yeah. to it, and I think you need that balance, and I think yeah. they mm-hmm. just kind of embody that, and to see them still get this attention, um, I, I love seeing Martin like. We had a whole debate on this podcast about yeah. Jamie Foxx versus The Martin Show. Yeah, I mean, like, we, we know it's funny. We don't, we don't have Definitely to, um, we don't oh, have to no. open that up we don't. because this is about Believe flowers. Believe in the comments. This is about flowers. And go back to that episode, guys. <laughs> what did I say? I said, uh, Fresh Prince, huh? I love it. <laughs> I just like inserted myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's just yeah. nice to see our legends, you know, grow and, and get into the space. So. And it's yeah. funny because I, I don't know why I'm just realizing that the first Bad Boys was 1995. Yeah, 95. Yeah. I, had, yeah. yeah, I had no idea. It was giving 2000s. I, I didn't I'm know. I'm not going to lie. Like, two of the niggas on this pod may not have been born in 95. Yo, you good? Shit. This type <laughs> shit. Yo, you good? I don't this mind. I love shit. being young. Yo, watch this. Yeah. Like, watch this. <laughs> type shit. What you, what you had going on in 95, though? Like, what you had popping? What life. you had on lock? Life. At one, right? <laughs> Breath. Oxygen, nigga. I get that. That's what I had in '95. You feel me? I don't care. I'm not, try- I'm not trying to be old like we Savon. Were- I don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, we was in the embryo still cooking. I was Period. seasoned, nigga. We was still thinking. We was, I, was, I was still in the nut sack, nigga, trying I to get better. <laughs> I was better. No, you wasn't. You I just was came out better. first. I was life. I. Right. You were so confused. You were confused. <laughs> you was confused <laughs> about life. Me and I was still figuring it out. '96 baby. Still confused. Savon, you get jumped right now. Still confused. You get jumped by the '96 baby. Nah, nah. This my '96 twin right here. Don't fuck around. Come on. Anyway. I want to talk about this real quick. Um, yeah, let's do it. Do y'all know Martin's going on a comedy tour in 2025? I didn't, and he shouldn't. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. I didn't, and Wait, he shouldn't. Why? We just started this off with you saying that you shouldn't have doubted him. Nah, see, I don't want to doubt anyone, right? And let me finish my apology. Martin, I apologize. We'll talk. I love you, man. Just before you kick his back let me in. shit on you again. Yeah, yeah, you got to. Come on. It's love before the hate. Like, Martin, I love you so much, man. Even though I think the Jamie Foxx show was better. I think you're amazing, man. You're like, you're. I really love Martin Lawrence. No funny. That's my Aries twin. I told you getting mm-hmm. hate off was ill at the time mm-hmm. of this pod. That was hate? My fault. My fault. Absolutely, right. that was hate. That was hate? All right, yeah. bet. I'm with my hate brother, so they know. Um, now, with that being said, I, I saw uh, Jess Hilarious is also attached to the tour. And he's got a couple dates. I think it starts in 2025. And it made me think about the Bad Boys franchise. Potentially this maybe being the last one. Mm-hmm. And then also, we're not the only ones saying and thinking how, we, how we're depicting Martin Lawrence, right? Like I see people in the comments go, oh my God, I hope he's okay, et cetera. Yeah, same, same. Right? So I'm thinking yeah. to myself, I'm Aww. like, damn, I hope this isn't, uh, okay, I don't know how much longer I can work at the rate where I can quote unquote maybe fool people and who knows maybe he is healthy right maybe he's not or fooling like anyone put on that mask that mask yeah. right maybe he knows like how long he could put this mask on for and it's like you know what let me kind of just knock it's, out it's, what it's I one can. more right right it's right. a big difference though because I yeah. you know I watched the Jamie Foxx Jamie Foxx wow so you yeah, I, that's Jamie. all right I yeah. watched Martin Lawrence religiously right <laughs> especially um back in those days right there's a clear difference between his personality then and now and it's 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 stark and then when you put Will Smith next to him, it's even more stark. And then I'm thinking about a comedy tour. Yeah. Where I personally haven't like seen Martin Martin really get into that Martin Martin bag. Is he hosting? I, th- because, I think it's his tour. No, because no, sometimes, no, <laughs> legit. Sometimes, like all the comedians who Yo, uh, are, oh, are so gee, like they just host the tour. Okay, where they introduce not the Jesse Like it's not like a headliner. Yeah, thing. like it, it's one of those things where he he may not be active, but it's like you know what I'm or Martin. do like a little closing set. Exactly. So I'm not sure if he's performing stand up. Like some of our legends, I don't even think they care mm. to do stand up. And then when you are doing Bad Boys Four, I, yeah. you definitely don't need to do stand up. Like he's still Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So That's if he were to do it, like. Is is either one for the love for the art? I don't think it's a money thing, but I really want to say maybe know. he's hosting. Like, do you remember I the big know, uh, when the big three first got launched? Uh, Ice Cube's league, yeah, and they were promoting Allen Iverson. Right. At that time, <laughs> Allen Iverson was the draw. Yeah, but Allen Iverson couldn't play. <laughs> he couldn't and, yeah. it, and I'm not even knocking him but I, I remember some of my friends they cop tickets to the first season right. of the big three and they like yo AI like you know our era bro mm-hmm. we grew up on AI T-Mac Kobe Vince Carter like yeah. that's our era so when we heard or when a lot of people heard Allen Iverson was playing or participating in the big three it's like holy shit let me buy my tickets 
a quarter of the way through the season, Allen Iverson tapped out of the shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, I'm an assistant coach. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? <laughs> like, I, I just coach here. <laughs> you just made yourself laugh. <laughs> like, nigga, I don't even hoop no more for real. Practice. Practice. <laughs> practice. Niggas want me to practice. Because homie couldn't even, like, and so I, I want to say yeah. maybe it could be something like that where okay. Martin's like, you know That's what? I'm going yeah. on this tour and I, my name is enough to yeah. bring people out. And that's what I'm going to do. And to your point, maybe that is something. Um, but comedy sh shows usually have more than one person, too. They do. They right? Do. And they usually have, like, a big bang. So maybe he's hosting. Maybe he's getting guests. Because I do yeah. see here uh, Martin Lawrence with special guests, Just Hilarious. That's in Brooklyn. Yeah. I also see another date here for uh, uh, Adele Givens and Gary Owen with Martin Lawrence and PA. So you're right. Let's see what, what brings from it. Yeah, I, I do hope he takes his time, though. I don't think he's giving, like, jokes and stand-up today. I mean, we I just really showed him the award show, right? He tried to he tried to give it up on the award show a little bit. He could surprise maybe he us. was yeah, maybe nah. he was trying to warm up. No, nah, don't do that. Don't. Do <laughs> I love Martin. Like I said, I put my Martin cape on. I defend Martin. I watch Martin every single night to go to sleep till his day. Word. Same. Yeah. Oh, like, that's why you feel so strong really about my that man show for real. So, <laughs> like, I fuck with Martin for real. <laughs> so I'm gonna like yeah. give him advice like as a fan. As a, Wait, but then like, so, so why can't I give him advice as a fan? So you, me and Savon are the Will Smith stands on this pod. Absolutely. But then, so when people ask you Martin versus Fresh Prince, you pick Martin. That oh. specific show, yes. Okay, so I think that I am moving up on the rankings. You got it. <laughs> because I've never... That is my goal. I will concede I, to you. I will concede oh, to you. Oh, man. That, that's not fun. Come now, on. I will concede you to you. A, he won B. Yeah, I'll be one B. Okay. Because okay. Will, will is still a guy. Like, Will is... He, that's he's my still goal. A guy. No like, one compares. No one Yo, compares. Yo, you sent this video in a group chat. I don't yes. know if we could, like, explain okay. it. I know we'll, we'll, we'll send we'll, we'll Kieran a okay. video. But we'll put it on, like, the YouTube. It's kind of viral now, so I feel like people will know it. It's a beh uh, behind the scenes of them shooting Bad Boys 4. And oh. Will Smith is a one of one talent, okay? Because really? he has this okay. contraption, like 50 pound contraption yeah. strapped to his back where it, the camera swivels they call it a, to a um, get like a POV and yeah. then like flips back to his face. And he does not look at the camera. Like he knows he's obviously a professional actor. He has like the gun POV and he's like shooting people. But, and then he's just swiftly doing it. And people in the field are like, yo, do you guys know how fucking hard this is? Super talented. He's one of one.